Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about OBS. I'm going to go through settings. A lot of people have been asking about it on stream. A lot of friends also stream. They've been asking questions. What are the settings for this and that? So today I'm going to show you my settings, the reason behind it. We have done a lot of testing throughout the years. Special thanks to NARPT and EposVox also for the incredible content that he puts out. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so first of all, I use Stream Elements OBS. Why not Stream Labs? OBS is a little less heavy on your system, so it uses less resources and it works great. So it's basically the same thing without the, the graphic-y, good-looking things, right? So OBS Studio. I'm gonna show you my settings. Keep in mind, I use a dual streaming PC setup. So I run two PCs. One runs the stream, one runs the game. But I'm also going to show you if you had a single PC situation, right? All right, let's start from the settings tab. Go to stream. I stream to Twitch. By the way, don't forget to check out the channel. Hit me with a follow and come hang out. Let's go with output. So we're going to switch to the advanced tab so you can customize more things. The first, the streaming tab. I encode with my CPU. If you have the luxury to run two PCs, encoding with the CPU gives you a slightly better image, a little sharper image than if you were encoding with your NVIDIA encoder, which is a great option, especially if you're running on a single PC, especially the new NVIDIA cards have a built-in chip to encode without putting too much workload on the game or other things you're running in the background. So I use X264. Rescale output. I'm gonna talk about this in just a second. Rate control CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, meaning the bitrate stays the same, it doesn't fluctuate. I keep my bitrate at 6,000. So if you stream on Twitch and you're not a Twitch partner, you're capped at 6,000. As of today, April 2021. If you're a Twitch partner, you can push your bitrate to 8,000 for a better looking image. Keyframe interval, I keep it at two. CPU usage preset. So medium is like the goal, right? So if you go higher, your stream is gonna not look as good. If you go slower than medium, it pretty much doesn't make any sense. It's just gonna tank your PC. So I keep it on medium, but again, only if you have a two PC setup. If you encode with your GPU, you don't have to worry about that. It's not gonna come up. So you're good. You're chilling. So 6,000, keep it a medium profile high. We ignore the rest of the things because we, we don't care about those. Switch to recording. When I recording, I do use my NVIDIA encoder. Why? Because sometimes I stream and record the VOD at the same time. This works great for the recording. You want a better quality so you can boost your bitrate. There's no cap on that. I put it 25,000, which is also the recording you're looking at right now. Consider that YouTube also compresses the file a little bit. So it's not like true to what you see right now. Preset quality and profile high. Max B frames, I put two. Psycho visual tuning, it does help to get a better quality. So I, I recommend you to check that one. Audio, I have it at 320 bit rate because I love good quality audio. We're going to move to video. So video, my base canvas is 1080. There's no scaling. So I kept it at 1080 downscale filter length zones, 36 samples for a sharper image, 60 FPS. Now going back to output streaming, I'm rescaling that 1080 to 936 which is one notch down 1080. The reason why I don't stream at 1080 is because first of all, if you're not a Twitch partner, you don't always get a transcoding option, meaning people that watch you on your phone or if they have like a slower connection, they cannot watch your stream at a lower resolution. They only get the resolution that you stream at. So sometimes 1080 might not work properly, for example, on a mobile. So, I went down one notch and I'm at 936. 
a lot of people stream at 900p, but 900p, it's not a canvas 16 by 9. I don't know why. It's a misconception. 900p is the way to go, but it's not. <laughs> also, at 1080p and 6,000 bit rate, it won't look as good as 720p or 936p because the bit rate for 1080p ideally will be a higher than 6,000. Reason why most partners they stream at 1080p because they can push a higher bit rate. They can push 8,000, so it looks better. You're basically trying to fill a canvas with 6,000 dots. So a 1080p canvas with 6,000 dots is gonna look a certain way. A 1080p canvas with 8,000 dots is gonna look much better. So if we turn it down a notch and keep the 6,000 bit rate, it's gonna look great. Moving down to advanced process priority, I will put it above normal. I wouldn't go crazy with like high for better stability. I leave it at above normal. Um, color format, NV12, color space 709, color range partial. If you put full, it might mess up your dark, your blacks and stuff. This is what I'm using. This is what works for me. I also disabled the browser source hardware acceleration because when I have it enabled, the software uses a lot more resources. So I turned it off. You're going to have to reboot and I'm leaving it off. There you have it. I know this was a quick one. I just wanted to show you guys. A lot of people are asking, oh my God, your stream looks so good. These are my settings. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hop on Twitch. I stream pretty much every day. Links are down below. Thank you again for watching and I will catch you next time. Peace.